over the bay. We had a pretty warm and sunny weekend, particularly if you were inland. It's about to get even warmer in the next few days. That's not all good no news, though. That's causing some alarm bells to go off in parts of California. Remember how the Sierra, of course, got dozens of feet of snow this winter? That is starting to melt, and when it gets hotter, it could accelerate that process. And that would cause major flooding, especially in the San Joaquin Valley and the Tulare Lake Basin. The big melt is now here. Right now, it, it, it is looking like this week is going to be um, a, an exclamation point on this melting process. Okay, Paul is here tonight back from a long vacation, much needed. <laughs> but you know what? Before you left for vacation, you were talking about this. You said if it yeah. gets too warm too quickly, it could cause problems. Right. So where are we at in that process? So temperatures are going to warm up dramatically. South Lake Tahoe is going to be well into the 60s. So you're talking 30 to 35 degrees above freezing and just abundant sunshine over mm -hmm. the next several days. And that's just going to be going into all that snow that is still on the ground. We're at about 13 and a half hours of daylight. So there's plenty of it. And the National Weather Service has already issued flood watches that are in effect for portions of the high Sierra. Let's take a look at the maps and there is that flood watch that is in effect from Thursday through Monday. Interestingly, the National Weather Service office in Sacramento has not issued any watches downslope of the snowpack in the high Sierra, at least not at this point. I think that remains a possibility. We are going to see near record high temperatures in that part of California, rapid snowmelt, and so downslope flooding can be expected with rapid water flows, and it's going to be very cold water as well because it's freshly melted snow. The temperature